Right now we're going to take our pinch pot and turn this into a little bug. It could be a ladybug, it could be an imaginary bug, but you get to decide. Um, it'll be based on the same shape. So today they'll probably all look pretty much the same. It'll be when you decorate them that um, they'll start to really be creative. So we have our pinch pot. We'll start with that. It's going to be upside down. That's like the shell of the bug. And then we need a little extra clay. This is probably too much. And we're going to take this clay and roll it into a ball. Just roll it between our heads. And then we're going to kind of gently just tap it so it has kind of a flat side like that. And then just look at your clay and decide, okay, where, little clay, where do you look like you want to have the head of a bug? Maybe right there is kind of a flat spot on mine. So that would be a good spot. Oh, look at that. It looks like it sticks. Well, that won't stick after it dries, so we have to do what's called scoring and slipping. And that's what potters do anytime they want to have two pieces stick together. So we're going to take a fork and we're going to do a texture on there, kind of like a hashtag, go that way and then that way. And then the piece that we're going to add, oh look at my cracks, maybe I better get those out before I do my scoring and slipping. There we go. Score that side. Then I'm going to get my water. This doesn't take very much. You just want to get it slippery. So we got slippery. Both pieces have to be slippery. Then we stick it right on there. Press it together from the inside too if you can. It's kind of wet and you might get some junk squishing around. So if you have a little tool like this, you can work that extra clay out of there. And then you can decide what kind of a face you want to put on there. Um, and you can do some designing on the shell too. So we look at the face and we think, oh, mine already is kind of making an eye right there. So I think and I'm going to just put some cute little eyes right there. Right there. Now real bugs don't have eyes like this, of course, you know that. But we want ours to be cute. Mine's kind of looking cute, like need some little eyelashes maybe. You can do whatever you want. Just... Pressing in is better than trying to make a line. If you can just take it and press it, it's better. And then I'm going to maybe make a little sideways smile on her. Maybe that's all I'll do for that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she has a couple little nostrils. That's kind of cute like that. So I have my face done. Now I need to do something on her shell. So maybe I'll draw a line down the back like that. And I'll get those little pieces off. Any little pieces that you leave will dry and be there when you fire them. So you pick them off now if you want to. And then I think maybe this side of the tool will make some nice little polka dots. And I'm going to put a lot because I like polka dots. Ready to go. 